Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete here. I'm in Cooper, Texas. It's northeast of Dallas in front of the Delta County Sheriff's Office. Uh, last week, I put up a story on coplock.org uh, soliciting feedback, story leads from people, noting that I was going to be driving from Austin, Texas to North Carolina. I uh, heard from an individual here in Cooper who uh, shared with me a story of some pretty uh, ongoing harassment that he's faced. I interviewed him yesterday night and this morning came down to the Delta County Sheriff's Office where some of the folks involved in uh, his allegations work. Uh, I showed up at 8 a.m. hoping to talk to the chief or somebody else like that, or sorry, the sheriff or somebody else uh, to figure out some policies, see if they even follow their own rules. I was told uh, to wait a moment. The sheriff should be in shortly. Uh, I waited until 9 a.m. Then I was told that uh, he was going to be over a court, which is across the street, and that they had a full docket today, uh, so I'm, he might not be accessible until after lunch. So I, uh, I hung out a little bit, uh, did some other work, and I inquired about a Freedom of Information Act request over here. I was told that they didn't have a form, but that maybe across the street they had one that I could submit there. I asked across the street. I was told they don't have any forms. Usually people just fill out pieces of paper, you know, soliciting information they want, which is, from my experience, generally how it's been done at different police departments and law enforcement agencies. So uh, I filled out a, a piece of paper, and this is, uh, and I went over back over to the uh, sheriff's office, and uh, the sheriff happened to be in. I waited a little bit longer. I was able to see him. I recorded on video. Uh, me going in there and I just told him, hey, I'm filming for transparency purposes and I started asking some questions and he pretty much said, oh, I'm not talking to you because of the camera, you know, that, that's why. And uh, so then I just said, all right, I'll just, he encouraged me to fill out a FOIA request then, so I went back out and uh, uh, submitted this one and uh, got a copy of it made and it's stamped, so now it's in their possession. I'm told for Texas legalese they have 10 days to respond to that, so... Um, I'll just, I guess, here's the, uh, I said any and all information related to this raid that was done on this property, and uh, here's the stamp received. So we'll see where this goes. Uh, I'm going to continue on now, drive, uh, drive through Arkansas, uh, stop, meet up with some folks in Tennessee, and uh, should have some of this content online as these pieces continue to come together. But what I will say for my time here in Cooper is, uh, it is good to know that there are some folks starting to stand up against the abuse that there's, they're uh, enduring by some of these folks with badges who, uh, you know, it's kind of like a classic good old boys network, it seems. So hopefully uh, with this content going out, it'll sort of plant a flag so some other people in the area will get in touch and start working together and people will stop, uh, you know, being scared and they'll just start speaking up for their rights and supporting each other. So more later. Take care.